Hey Minecrafters, it's Kate New York Family Gaming and today we're going to show you how to download and install Mo Creatures mod for Minecraft 1.7.2, 1.6.4 and other previous Minecraft versions as well. What you want to do to get yourself started is go right here to this page right here, 9minecraft.net. That is the number 9minecraft.net. Or you can just copy this little link that's right here in the top left hand corner of my screen that you see right here in the video as well and you can go right straight to this page that you see right before you it's the nine minecraft dr zark's mo creatures mod for minecraft once you get there um if you don't know how to get there exactly if you haven't followed this direct link all you gotta do is go right here to the minecraft mods uh link click on just the minecraft mods part and scroll down and look around until you find the Mo Creatures mod for the Minecraft. Once you've done that and you've gotten here to this page, you want to just go ahead and scroll right on down to this little area right here. How to install Mo Creatures mod for Minecraft. This guy does a really good job of telling you how to install everything, all the mods, uh, properly. Sometimes the instructions are a little bit vague. That's why we do these videos to show you exactly how to do it. First off, you want to install Minecraft Forge. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and click on the link that you see right here on the screen in front of you right now, and that'll take you right to my video of showing you exactly how to download and install Minecraft Forge. If you're having any problems, make sure that you read some of the comments down below the video, and it'll tell you step by step some of the things that you might have done wrong in the first place. So, after you've got your Minecraft Forge downloaded and installed on your computer, go over here and go come back to this Mo Creatures page and you want to download you want to download the GUI API. As soon as you do that, it's going to bring you right over here to this screen. Um, when you go to the GUI API. So make sure that you click on this link right here on the page, the GUI API. You see it in red right here. Click on this link. It's going to take you right straight to this page. Scroll on down. Make sure that you're downloading it for the version that you're playing your Minecraft in. Um, for the GUI API, 1.6.2 works with 1.6.4 and above. So if you're using Minecraft version 1.6.2 and above, go ahead and click on any one of these links right here and it's going to take you to the direct download for the GUI API. You have to have this downloaded and ready to go on your computer and to put in your mods folder for the Mo Creatures mod to work. So that's number one. Then we're back here at the Mo Creatures page. The next thing that you have to have downloaded and installed is the custom mob spawner. Once you've done, once you've clicked on this little red little link right here, it's going to take you right to this page. Again, you're going to scroll right on down and download and install it for the version of Minecraft that you happen to be playing your Minecraft Forge in. We're doing ours in 1.6.4. If you happen to be doing it in 1.7.2, you can download it right here from one of these links. Then, after that, make sure that you're back here at the Mo Creatures page again and you've downloaded the Minecraft Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures mod for whatever version you happen to be doing it. I normally suggest downloading it from the top uh, link. This one's the Mediafire.com download. If you go right there, it's going to take you right here to the Mediafire page. This is exactly what it's going to look like. This is the direct download link. If you click on this, normally it pops right up for the download. But if it doesn't, you see it right here. If it doesn't, you can repair your download and try again. And eventually it'll pop up and it'll ask, do you want to open or save your mod? And normally I click save and it downloads directly to my downloads folder. Um, after you've saved it, you can just go ahead and open the folder. It's going to come up in a folder that looks just like this, basically. And it's going to have it already highlighted for you. So most of the time, all of your downloads will go straight to your download folder. Um, once you've found the three downloads that you've got, which is the GUI uh, API, the custom mob spawner, and Mo Creatures mod, I'm going to meet you back at the computer screen and exactly show you how to put the mods into your Minecraft so that you can be playing this. 
Now that we have all of our three files downloaded, let's go ahead and put it into our Minecraft mods folder. This is exactly how you how you do it. We've got the custom mob spawner, Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures, and the GUI API file. Let's go ahead and go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen right, right now to that little Windows icon. Click on that right now, right there in the search program and files uh, search area. Type in percent app data percent press enter right there it's going to open up your roaming folder go to your dot minecraft double click that open it up go right over here to your mods and then open that right on up and as soon as you've done that just go ahead and drag all these files right on over into your mods folder that's exactly all you have to do to get this ready to play in your minecraft uh upon startup so we've got it all right there gui api We've already put the mo creatures in, and then we've got the custom mod, mod spawner ready to go. We're ready to play some Minecraft. Go ahead and open up your Minecraft now. We're going to go ahead and click run and wait for it to start on up. It's going to take a quick second. Just in case you don't know, make sure that you're running in your Forge profile, uh, which would be right here in the bottom. After you've selected your little profile thing and you ran Forge, you're going to go right over here. And when you open up your little profile editor, use version. You want to use the released Forge version. We're doing ours in 1.6.4. That's what you want to look for. That's what you want to play the Forge in. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on play. It's going to load everything up. At the very first menu screen, it's going to show you over in the bottom left-hand corner uh, if your Minecraft Forge is indeed working. And we're open. It's going to say Minecraft version 1.6.4. It tells us Minecraft Forge is running with our mods loaded as well. It'll also have this cool little mods part right here. You can click on that and see what all that you have mods are uh, running. We're going to open this bad boy on up and start our world. And then there you'll see that Minecraft Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures mod for version 1.6.4 is indeed working if you happen to have a problem with your mo creatures mod crashing on you upon startup or somewhere within that time this is exactly what you're going to want to do let's go ahead and turn off these little huds first here come back to our game we've already got some of the mo creatures guys going around in this little area this is exactly all the creatures that, that you'll be able to download it uh, and, and spawn in your game, which is really cool. But let me show you something real quick. If you press F6 on your keyboard, that's going to bring up the Dr. Zark's Mo Creatures display. When you do that, if you're having problems with your Mo Creatures crashing on you, what you want to do is go over here to Mobs, click on the gen click on Mobs, click on General Settings, and the Golem Destroy Blocks. Right now, you're going to see it at True. Change that to False. All you got to do is click on the Golem Destroy Blocks. It'll change it right to false. That's where I was having a problem upon initial startup of this mod. It kept on crashing on me. If you experience a similar problem, I would suggest that you do that. Um, this is going to be the end of the full and complete tutorial of how to download and install Minecraft Mo Creatures mod for version 1.6.4 or higher or other previous versions of Minecraft as well. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to slap that like button. Leave a comment down below if you're having any issues and subscribe to our channel for more Minecraft mod spotlights, Minecraft tutorials, and Minecraft adventures.